Hi, I'm John. I live on Capitol Hill in Seattle, which is the most awesome neighborhood in the entire universe to live. Today I thought I'd show you my favorite part of the hill, which is the north end of Broadway. I hope you enjoy it. We begin at the north end of Broadway and the intersection of Broadway East and Roy. The main traffic flow splits off here onto 10th Avenue East and Broadway East becomes a residential street. Here we find the Loveless Building. This building has more love in it than any building in the world. It was built in 1930 by Arthur Loveless and it was originally known as the Studio Building. It had live work studios for artists and boutique shops along the outer sidewalk. The studios were eventually converted into apartments. In 1961 it received recognition from the American Institute of Architects as an outstanding structure. It is home to some wonderful shops and most importantly on the south side is home to the Joe Bar Cafe. This is the heart and soul of the neighborhood. This is the meeting place, the living room. This is where the energy of the neighborhood comes together. And they have awesome crepes too. Right across the street is the Harvard Exit Theater. This is a great theater and a great building. It was built in 1925 as the clubhouse of the Women's Century Club, a very powerful organization at the time. The Women's Century Club was founded by 10 intellectual women for the purpose of intellectual culture, original research, and for solutions to the altruistic problems of the day. By the time this building was built, they had over 350 members. The 1960s and 70s were not a good time for Capitol Hill, and in 1968 the building was sold and reopened as a movie theater. As a condition of the sale, the parlor was to be maintained as a meeting place for the club, who still meets here regularly. Across the street from that is the Chapter House of the Daughters of the American Revolution, or DAR for short. This 1925 building is a replica of George Washington's Mount Vernon residence. It was the intent of the original members to rent their lovely Chapter House to the general public. The first wedding was conducted over 85 years ago, and that tradition continues today. Across the street from the Dar is the home of Cornish College of the Arts, founded by Nellie Cornish, and originally known as the Cornish School. This was built in 1921 and predates the other buildings we've been looking at. It set the tone for this whole neighborhood. Nellie was known as the Mother of the Arts, and her students affectionately referred to her as Miss Aunt Nellie. Back up on Broadway, and on the corner, is the Deluxe Bar and Grill, which began life as a beer tavern at the end of Prohibition. Over the years, it has added food and liquor to its menu, and expanded in size, but has remained true to its history the whole time. Crossing over Broadway East and behind the ugly gas station on the corner are two gems of Capitol Hill, both built by Fred Anhalt. This is the 1005 apartment building, which among other things contains Seattle's very first underground parking garage. This apartment building was built in 1930 and is considered the crowning achievement of Anhalt's career. He said of the structure that it was the finest apartment building ever built in Seattle. Fred Anhalt went bankrupt in 1934 during the Great Depression, but eventually started a nursery in 1942. Some of the plants in this garden were purchased at his nursery years later by the new owner of the building. Right across the street is the 1014 East Roy Building, which is currently a co-op. It too was built in 1930 and shares stylistic elements with the 1005 across the street. It is simpler, but no less elegant and beautiful. The north end of Broadway was infused with a creative spirit unlike anywhere else in the city by the brilliant people who lived here in the 1920s and 30s. Their energy lives on to this day, giving this neighborhood a character all its own. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it useful. If there's anything you'd like to see, just leave a comment below and I will make a video about it. Until next time, see you later.